before entering into homonyms land. Here. We are tasked to solve the riddles. If we can get it correctly, then we can enter in. Remember, we only have five seconds to solve it. Ready? I am a band that you wear on your finger and a sound that your phone makes. What am I? I am a small animal with a pointed nose and a long tail. And I am also connected to your computer. What am I? I cover the outside part of a tree trunk and I'm a loud noise that a dog makes. What am I? is great. We'll have fun learning homonyms here. Are you excited? Nice! Then let's get started. The word homonym comes from the prefix homo, which means same, and the suffix nim means name. Homonyms are like twins. They may look alike or sound alike, but they are not the same. Homonyms are special words that spelled or pronounced alike but different in meaning. Sometimes they may differ in spellings, which are often called homophones. A simple example of homonyms are found in our riddles. Take a look at the first one. What is the answer to this riddle? Good! The answer is ring. The word ring has two meanings. The first meaning is a band that is worn in a finger. The other meaning is a sound that your phone makes when someone is calling. The words ring and ring are homonyms. Let's have the second riddle. The answer to this riddle is mouse. Mouse has two different meanings. The first meaning is a small rodent that has a pointed nose and a long tail. While the other meaning is a small device that is connected to your computer. The words mouse and mouse are homonyms. What is the answer to the third riddle? You're right! Mark! 
The word bark has different meanings. The first meaning is the covering of a tree. And the other meaning is a sound made by a dog. Bark and bark are homonyms. What other words that you can think of that have the same sound and spellings but have different meanings? Well, let's look around. Let's see if we can find some homonyms. Oh, look at this big bird. It's called a crane. What can you say about the crane? You're right. A crane is a tall bird with long legs. It has a sharp and pointy beak. That is also a crane. It's a machine that is used to lift and move heavy objects. Crane and crane are homonyms. Oh, I found something. Oh, it's a chest. Do you want to know what's inside this chest? Treasures! It's a Cheshire chest. Hi, teacher. I also have a chest. Here. Chest and chest are homonyms. That is a bat. Bat is a piece of wood used for hitting a ball. Now let's look for something that has the same sound as bat. Oh, there's something hanging on a tree. Can you tell me what is it? Yes, it's a bat. bat are homonyms. Another example of homonyms are words that have the same sounds with different spellings and meanings. Let's see if we can find these words around. A look at Rapunzel's hair. Her hair is very long. This hair is very funny. A hair is also called a rabbit. Hair and hair are also homonyms. What a bright night! The moon and stars come out at night. This knight always walks to the castle at night. Knight and knight are homonyms. Wow! That was awesome, kids! I hope you had fun learning homonyms with me!